Yeah. Click gang. And we're back for another video. <laughs> so I'm on the way to get me some daggone uh, curry goat and some oxtails and some jerk chicken. Woohoo! And a Super Bowl Sunday. I headed up to my brother's house, my boy Gino. We about to get it in. Just chill out. I ain't even really worried about the game, to be honest with you, yo. I'm worried about that grub-a-dub-dub. -dub. You feel me? Come with me, man. We're going to have a little bit of fun. Watch the Super Bowl. I'm not really stressing it, man. I'm going up there just to hang out with my family, my brother. You met them before, Gino and Tina. You know, when we was at Sam's Club getting them TVs. Yeah, man. So I'm going to their crib. We're just going to kick it, man. So, yo, y'all come along. Chill out with us. It's been a minute. I missed y'all. I hope y'all miss me. Let's rock, baby. <laughs> together we actually were going to do it yesterday and uh you know what wasn't even really thinking about super bowl or nothing like that you know we just really wanted to all of us get up and you know hang out for a minute and, and chill i mean this stuff with covid man you just got to be so careful these days you know so you know i really now these days i don't do too much of anything there's a lot of videos and stuff i want to shoot a lot of content i want to put together for you guys but for me you know i'm kind of like man i need to be careful, because it's just it's just a lot going on, man. Everybody act like COVID is not a thing. Like, it doesn't exist for some reason. I don't get it, but for me, it exists. So I'm trying to, you know, just be careful and uh, stay out of the way. <laughs> but yeah, that's it, yo. Drop a comment, yo. Let me know if y'all like uh, Jamaican food, oxtails, curry goat curry chicken, beef patties with cocoa bread. You know what I'm saying? All that goodness. Let me know if y'all like it. Let me know if y'all rocking with it. I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of, you know, a little clip, a little video, a little something, something of the food. I think y'all like it. It's gonna look real good. It's gonna taste real good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, baby. One. So I told you <laughs> that I'm coming to give me some Jamaican, man. You know what I mean? Hey, look, check it out. We just getting started. I'm gonna show you, you know, reintroduce you to my boy, one of my brothers, you know what I mean? He and he got the recipes, man. Like, some of the best Jamaican food I've ever had. I don't know if that dude a rude boy or not, but look, we gonna check him out. The man right there. Yeah, man. What up, though? What up, rude boy? <laughs> Chilling, baby. Look what he, what you got there? What you got there? Oh, the wife's gonna do some cabbage. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do some cabbage too, but I'm gonna do um, corned beef cabbage Jamaican style. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, never done that before. Hey, before. we gonna catch a little bit of that today. We gonna do it up. We gonna yeah, do it up. man. So, so far, um, last night we put the meats on, we marinated the chicken, we marinated. So, okay, so let's rewind. So today, for the Super Bowl, for my family and for G Bunny, G Gil, the, the, the creator, the innovator, <laughs> the dream maker, the dream achiever, okay? So, curry goat, Ooh. curry chicken, yes, sir. corned beef cabbage, Ooh. rice and peas. Don't hurt them, son. <laughs> Don't hurt them, son. And for the domestic folk, peace and wings. <laughs> So last night we put the goat, yeah. we, we marinated. Oh 
we look yes all sir. the seasonings um mm. i'm gonna send some still shots yeah but we have all the ingredients i have them all laid out all the seasoning all the dry seasoning um the chicken of course we already have put that on so let's give you a peek at that that's probably all Ooh, that. look at that Ooh, she, she's steaming son I don't know. Y'all don't know nothing about that curry chicken, yo. What's that pot right there? Tell them, tell them about the pot, bro. Oh, this is like a Dutch pot. You know? mm. but, I, but I got this one from the, uh, the food line on the international island. Uh, you know, my brother essays that, you know, yeah. cook all the time, too. So it'd be yeah. Musa. Okay, okay. I-M-U-S-A. Musa pot. It's a cast iron pot. Fry in it, you can roast in it. Stew, look at that. Stew Ooh. in it. So everything. So again, shout out to Daddy's Kitchen on YouTube. Yes, Daddy, sir. The real Jamaican man that inspired me to cook, and everything that I cook on his channel man has been. Uh, wow. So, shout out to Daddy. Daddy. In Daddy's Kitchen. What up, and, though? Uh, so we're gonna try some more recipes. So the the, uh, the cabbage he just put out yesterday. I was sitting here watching, I got the notification. Oh, I knew that. Uh -huh. It's a quick meal. You know, I don't know, some people might not like corned beef. Um, used to eat that. Man, corned beef off the chain, yo, but, for y'all that don't know. But it's gonna, it look like it's gonna be something interesting. Yeah, well, that's what's up, yo. Yep. I call him Papa Bear. That's my man Gito right there, my brother from another mother. Okay, we almost Ooh, ready with the that, rice, that, and that rice and peas. Now, I, I messed up because my daughter don't like onions, but I put some veggies in here. Right there, put some onions in there, put some some things in it, Marla. Yeah, me like, wow. Wow. but yeah, that's that's beautiful. Ooh, that's I, beautiful. I've right never cooked rice and peas before either. But what? Look at that. Yeah, that look good. That look like it's. Let me go and cut that off. Let me go and turn it around. Yeah, that's real. Yeah, that's picking up. Mm, yeah. Mouth watering already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> gonna go good with the goat. Yes, yes. Yeah, man. That's what's up. Usually, you're going to have different color peppers, you know, the red, the orange, all sweet bell pepper. Stop. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with a little green. I love the color. Yeah. It makes the food pretty. Green pepper, I can just eat green pepper raw and just chew on it. No, really? I'm surgical with this. Chuck the hair with that thing now. That's seed though. <laughs> Look at that, that's pretty. I love that. Love that. So with the um, the cabbage, the uh, the ingredients is going to be uh, first, first of fresh thyme and then with the cabbage. You know, I don't do the scotch bonnet pepper because I don't do it hot. So that might be the only thing, man, that daddy got that I don't use. I don't use the scotch bonnet pepper. I may try it one day just to see, just to see. how I can just use, use a little how much bit of less it. of it I could use to yeah, tone use it down. A little bit of it, yeah. But they're not easy to find either. This dish that I was, the, the cabbage, no, I'm sorry, the uh, rice and peas. Jamaicans actually use scratch bonnet pepper in it, but they don't cut it up. They drop it in their hole. Mm -hmm. So let's check. Let's do a check on the chicken. Gonna do this check though. Ooh, here we go, sir. Show us something. Uh -huh. Ooh, that steam come thing. out. Yeah. Yes, sir. So we got some potatoes in there. We got the oh. different color peppers and the chicken, of course. That look like good eating right there, son. Some onions in there, the fresh yeah, thyme. Little carrots, little. Yeah, I got full meal right there. Yeah, man, that looks And I do thighs. They yeah, didn't cut up the whole chicken, but I like the thighs, but took the skin off. Okay, de-skin it. de it. That's chicken. healthier for you. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. Yeah. And, of course, the rice and peas is really. Them things, right. They looking special, right? Yeah, there. man. Keep a little hot water because they said when you're cooking, you don't want to bring the temperature down when you add ingredients, so you use a little hot water to keep it keep it boiling. Okay. Okay. So, uh, back to the cabbage. So what we're gonna do here? These are the 
dry ingredients that we're going to be using. So, of course, the onions, the peppers. We have fresh thyme. We got some garlic. We got some scallion. We got, uh, oh, no, we're not using that right now. That's curry. So, of course, the two superstars, garlic powder and onion powder. I think he cooks everything with those two. And there's a seasoning that I can't get. He's in Canada, uh, and I think I may have to order it. Uh, it's called Flavor Rice. Flavor Rice. It's a vegetable yep. seasoning. Yep. Uh, so to substitute the vegetable seasoning, I'm going to go with some something like a Sasson okay. vegetable blend seasoning. Okay. okay. So we're going to use Let's that. Give it a job. Okay, a little bit of rosemary. Yeah, my mom loves rosemary. Shout ginger. out, shout out, slow show. Yeah, ma, yeah, mama. And some allspice or some, uh, yeah, what would a lot of Jamaica call it, some pimento seed. But I'm just going to use powder here. Okay. And let's go with a little garlic. So usually about a half a tablespoon. Season the taste. But uh, I've been watching Daddy so much. Daddy used... Jamaican measurements. <laughs> <laughs> he said, American teaspoon small. Jamaican <laughs> teaspoon heavy. <laughs> yeah, man. So, go a little heavy with the vegetable season because that would be like the um, the uh, flavor rice that he used. And a little pot of ginger. I hope y'all here taking notes, yo. For real. I hope y'all taking notes. Sprinkle the rose in there. Hey, Mitty. Spink, blink. <laughs> and the superstar. One of the stars of the show. Oh, the scallion. Scallion. Yes, sir. Yeah. And the red, red onion. Mm -hmm. Green peppers, baby. Red onion, green peppers. So, I'm going to get a little garlic action in there. Okay. Now, we're gonna get this going. And when we come back, we're gonna have the pan preheated, um, medium high, with a little bit of either vegetable oil. I like to use um, something with the high heat, smoke, high smoke. How you call it? Yeah, one of them. So where, you know. The oil don't burn. Oil don't burn up real fast. So you can use olive oil, but you don't really have to. Vegetable oil will do, corn oil will do. I usually use some high content or high smoke level oil. You can heat up to about 500 degrees. And uh, since I got this new stove, it is challenging because that will get away from you. So, <laughs> we use avocado oil. Mm. Avocado oil has a high smoke. Rate. High heat tolerance. Yeah. Don't get burning up on you too much. All right, one last check on. That thing look, ooh, that look yeah, right. Yeah, she's doing good there. now. All right. So, we so gonna, when we come back, we're going to get started on the cabbage. We're going to take this off. Once we get the cabbage on, the corned beef cabbage, we're going to start with the starter show. Get good. Curly goat, y'all. The curly goat, y'all. Yeah, man. Yeah, we out, y'all. So, <laughs> we're going to keep getting to it. I'm going to let y'all know what's up in a few. Uh, you know, I'll punch back in and show you a little something as we get more and more done. We'll get ready to do these oxtails, yo. Whew, it's about to be. Ooh, big boy love, bro. Ooh, yes, sir. Look, and I'm trying to drop this weight, too, but you already know what's good, yo. Shoot, for real, for real. We have holla back. Ah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's perfect consistency. So we don't want it to dry I'm going to take it off soon. Right, I'm going to get some moisture in this. Yeah, when you put the top on, it'll steam. Uh, Boy, that gonna be good, boy, with that curry chicken and that goat, man. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ain't no 
Yeah. What? It's a staple in my career. Uh, I grew up with a lot of Islanders, a lot of Spanish folk, you know what I'm saying? So. Mm -hmm. Some beans, yo. Yeah. Red beans. Red beans, yo. Stick, that's called stick to the bone. Stick to the bone, fool, for y'all that don't understand what's what, what's going on right now. <laughs> right. Yeah, boy. So. I'm gonna just I almost cover the bottom with that. Okay. Heat. Get Get that heat up. He's doing the sauteing this. He's got to saute this cabbage. All right. So we put the cabbage in. So we already put the seasoning on it. And now I go ahead and go with my veggie. All right. So now we're going to cover this. Keep the heat high. All right, so we're gonna cover that. When that starts to reduce down, we'll come back, stir it up. Then we may drop the heat just a little bit, okay? Stay tuned. We put it on, we started off on high heat. You wanna hear that sizzle when you drop the cabbage in there? your seasoning and all your vegetables and then you come back and you reduce the heat down to medium. Once it starts to reduce down, cook down a little bit, you change the heat to medium. And you're still gonna hear that noise that the pan makes because you want to get that. Alright, but we just dropped it down to medium and we're gonna let that cook a little bit. Uh, you can see it's already sweated down. It's already good. sweated down, mm -hmm. so looking good, looking good. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna let it go another a few minutes. Few minutes, let it reduce down. After it reduced down, like maybe halfway the pan, we're gonna add the corned beef, break it up, mm -hmm. let it cook, then lower the heat down another notch to low, and let the meat simmer. So the meat's already done. You know, just stand the corn beef. We're just we're just gonna take it out and put it in. You know, so you use whatever kind of corn beef you like. But, you know, we we didn't go hard on that. So I didn't spend four dollars <laughs> for the can. It was one of them Walmart specials. <laughs> so when we come back, we're gonna add the corn beef, drop it down again, and then we all must be done with this. This oh, dish should be complete. Yeah. After that. It's good curry. Good, good time, time man. Yeah. yeah man. All right. Are we back? We back. We are back. Yeah, man. So, took the corned beef out. I didn't want to be scraping it out of there. <laughs> oh, yeah, All right. Okay. So, that is cooking right. down. That's yeah. reducing down Sweating real good. Really nice. mm -hmm. That bottom, make sure that bottom is sticking. Yeah. Alright, let's make sure. Let's turn it over. Everything nice right there, boy. That looking good, G? Yeah, that's looking great. You know I love vegetables, so oh, that's yeah. that's beautiful that right there. One of my favorites. Yeah man. So this is coming on down pretty good, so we're gonna go ahead and add the corn. Yeah, beef. man. Yeah man. All right. Shout out Daryl. I know I know you love this right here, D. I know you love this, baby boy. Bam! Yeah, man. We just break it up. Break it up, mom. Good Jamaican restaurants cook everything from scratch. 
-hmm. Nothing come out of the can. So they make their own corned beef. So this is just one of them quick meals. Oh, that smells good. Right? I, now I remember the smell of corned beef. Yeah, man. Corned beef off the chain. So there we go. Uh, let me do one more thing. Just a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. And none of the seasonings that I'm using have high salt. I don't right. really do a lot of low salt. Low sodium, here. right. So low sodium. <clears throat> All of Denny's seasonings, except for the seasoning salt, he don't use a whole lot of that. But when he does... Mm, it's that cracked pepper, yeah. Yeah, cracked peppers. Cooks yeah. the best, if you ask me. Yes, sir. Yeah, that look, that looks special right there. All right, so let's give it a stir. Let that go for a few, and we'll see. Let's see where she come out like. Matter of fact, why don't we just do a quick taste? Oh, we get this. a little taste test. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, little taste test on that. Yeah, get a little taste test. Mm -hmm. yeah, man. Quick gang. I wish y'all was here to taste this, boy. I wish y'all was here to taste this food. I already got a little sample of the beans and rice. Now I get to get a little sample of the corn beef. cabbage with the corned beef. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boy, yum, mm -hmm. yum. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Mm, hold on. Wait. Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, it ain't nothing like. Mm -mm, I'm smacking and everything, but that's all right, y'all. Y'all still love me, right? Huh? What you got there, mm, man? That's beautiful right there, baby. Mm -mm -mm. That's Come good. Mm -mm. Boy, y'all getting a treat today. I just only thing I wish is that y'all could be here with me, cause uh, woo wee. Let me tell you something. Already, look, we ain't even got to it yet, for real, for real. But you know. You know how I am, like I like good cuisine, handmade by the gods, homemade, you know what I mean? Like all that junk food we're eating out and stuff, I can't stand it, yo, for real. This is beautiful food right here. This is great food, home cooked. Yeah, man. We back, we're back, we're back with the hot pan. With, of course, avocado oil again. And real Rasta man, real Jamaican man tell you, you have to burn some curry at the pot, bottom of the pot so it don't upset your stomach. Mm, okay. So, we're gonna put it in here with the high heat and it's gonna turn brown. Once it turn brown, we're gonna add the oxtail. I mean, the, uh, I'm sorry, that's the next show. The goat. We're gonna add the goat. So you char, like just a little char on the, on mm -hmm. the curry. Just a little char on the curry. Let that do this, do it. I don't know nothing about that, yo. I don't know nothing about that. They right, boy, ain't it? <laughs> It's like good, the cabbage. You want that cabbage soften up a little bit? Nah, I, I like it a little, little, little bite on it. A little, little, mm. You know, they call it uh, al dente to okay. the tooth. I like it just a little crunchy. Right because right she's still going to keep cooking because, she, you know, it's warm. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it with just a little bit of bite to it. You know what I'm saying? That way. Like yeah, just a little bit. You know, you don't want to overcook it and kill the all the nutrients in it. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right. It's perfect, too. That thing mm -hmm. on cabbage, right? Man. See a little brown? Okay. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of oil down there. And the style of the show. Ooh, wee. All right. So, with that hot pan. Oh, uh, she's smoking too. I don't know if y'all yeah. can see it. She's smoking, boy. We're going to just go ahead and get right into this. All right. I wish y'all could smell this. This is the goat with all of the vegetables. 
They got tomato, red pepper, yellow pepper, orange pepper. The tomatoes, they got garlic, they got fresh thyme, rosemary, mm. pimento seeds, onion powder, garlic powder, and of course curry powder. And this one, we let it go overnight. So all the seasoning, marinate overnight. Put that in the refrigerator with some plastic wrap on top. And we let it, all the seasoning just merge with one another. Mm, 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 mm. It smells good already, yes, but sir. wait till we start to watch this make its own gravy. That's like the star of the show. <laughs> Now look at all this. Now this is not gonna go to waste. All that goodness is That's gonna that go. goodness. <laughs> because when we start to add water, we're gonna use, use the pot. Mm -hmm. some water. We have some hot water on already. Hot water, guys. Hot water. So Gotta have hot water. So that, you know, nothing slows down the cooking process. So we wanna keep it hot. So now, take a look at that. That's that goodness. So we're gonna get all of that. We're gonna fit that. We're gonna get all of that. And that's basically, guys, that's gonna that's gonna make your gravy. Like you don't even need no flour or nothing like that to thicken it. It's gonna thicken itself, It'll do it itself. with the bone and the you know the marrow and the water and all that. It's gonna it's gonna make a gravy. You guys are gonna see. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm. Don't that look like gravy already? Already look like gravy. Look like a, a goat a goat broth. <laughs> All right. So, let this thing simmer. Look at this simmering. Ooh. That's just gonna do what it do. We'll right. come back after about five minutes and we'll check on this. Hey. Click game. Click game. Don't ever get it twisted. Like I told you, the boy gonna bring everything to you. The cooking, the fashion, the cars, the clothes, everything creative. We doing it, baby. That's it, yo. Click game. <laughs> well, we just took the cabbage off. Look at that. All you bachelors, I was a bachelor one time too, but shout out to my wife, the lady T, 24 years married, blessing from God. Yes, sir. He who find a, a wife finds a good thing, and that's my queen. Tina she Hawkins. don't want to be on film, nah, so we're not going to put her on that. film today. <laughs> but you guys, wash your dishes as you go, man. Right. Ain't nothing worse than a sink full of dishes. To me, you know, well, no, that's that's a true fact. Like my mom always said, a good cook cleans up after himself. Yeah, then you can and sit down, you sit down and eat, and you ain't got nothing but a couple little pots. You cook, you clean as you go. Mm -hmm. Keeps your kitchen nice and tidy. Mm -hmm. Clean as you go, y'all. All right. do man all right so see we didn't put any water or anything in here but look at that look at that gravy y'all yeah look at that it's already making its own gravy yeah. need to start with no water don't waste no time and being the fact that this meat marinated overnight look, look at that it's already yeah, separated that, from yeah. some of the bones yeah. and uh rastafarian tells me that if you're gonna try to cook some goat, get the butcher to cut the leg of the goat. It has less bones. So if you ever had curry goat and you had a lot of bones in it, could have been another cut. But um, shout out to Don Juan Supermarket right here in Raleigh, North Carolina, where we get the goat, we get the oxtail, we get whatever we need in there. Uh, I speak a little bit of Spanish, but I didn't know how to tell him how to cut my goat. So on that iPhone, I got to translate. <laughs> you type it in or you talk it in. I let her listen to what I wanted. She gave me exactly what I wanted. Dude. That's what's up. Man, look at that, y'all. Yeah. Ooh, that is beautiful. Yeah, that's, that's looking real good. All right, oh. let's, get that, let's get that goodness in there. So we just want to 
take the pot that we had over here. Take a look at that. Can you see that? Right there. Still yes, got pretty high heat, so I'm gonna leave my water back here. It's hot, hot water. Hot water. Mm -hmm. so we don't see how it never stopped boiling. It bubbling. bubbling. See, it never slowed down bubbling. She's still bubbling. Yeah. All right. Cool. So we're gonna stir this up. Give it another five minutes. We'll come back and see what it looked like. Yeah, yeah. We're back with another check on the go. Look at that. That's doing pretty good right there. Look at that gravy, y'all. So we're gonna let it calm down some. She's and it's about time now to add some final touches. So when you're cooking, as long as we were cooking, um, the goat, when you get, and of course we already had some garlic in here, but Toward the end of the cooking stage, we're gonna add some fresh right vegetables there. so that you know a little bit more flavor gets in there. So we're gonna add some garlic and I'm gonna cut up probably half an onion and put it in there. And a little bit of scallion. So I'm probably gonna have Gil with taste test, because <laughs> we got some. Gravy kicking up in here. Yeah, man. I love being the taste tester, you know. <laughs> it's, it's always nice when I ain't always got to be the cook. Hey, you somebody somebody <laughs> got to do it right there. Hey, man, somebody got to do it. Hard job, but I'm, hey, I'm ready. <laughs> and I said, them cook always taste the food. <laughs> so we do that to, you know, one, to see if we need to add anything. Since we're adding stuff right now, we're gonna check it and see if we need to add any more seasoning. We're gonna see, you know, what kind of taste we got. But right now, just looking at it, let's show you the consistency of the gravy. All right, so. You know, that's, that's getting there. Yeah. That is really thickening up. Nicely. Yeah, real nice. That's real nice. All right, so G. Yes, sir. Let's get a spoon. Okay. And let's let you see what we're working with. Yeah. Yes, sir. I have no problem doing that. Come on. Ooh. Big spoon, ooh. Too. The big little spoon, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh. Hold up. Hot, man, so be careful. Yeah, I'm trying to give me a little, little piece of I want meat. a little piece of little meat piece in there. Little piece of meat, too. Yeah, man. Yeah, here's your bowl right here. Okay, hold on. Right there. Let's see if I can give me a little something. There we go. No, let me get a little, little piece. There we go. A little of that juice. A little yeah. of that juice. Taste that before you put it all in there. You Taste little, it. Take, yeah, take some out. See what we got. See if we need to add anything. We're blowing it off. It's very hot. Come on. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> man, that's right. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> man, that's right, right there. You good? Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah. Let that, let you it go on and let that. Meat. Yeah, let, yeah, go on and let that simmer for a minute. Well, let me break this up. I'm sorry, y'all, my nostrils is all up in the camera, but look, you gotta understand what we got going on right now. Like, I need whatever. Ooh, she hot, though. Mm -hmm. Very hot, very, very hot. I see it when I'm working with this spoon. She's hot, boy. Okay, I got me some meat. That's good. Oh, that was good. <laughs> That's good. And these are some a little bit more. 20 more minutes? Yeah, another 20 minutes. Tender up. Another tender up. All right. Yeah, there you flavor. have it. Good flavor. 
not over, overly spicy. It's just got good, good consistency, good flavor. The gravy good. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go 20 more minutes. And then Click see game. what we're working with. Yes, sir. So crack, right. crack chicken. We getting ready to do some crack chicken. I know what you're saying. Crack chicken. Crack chicken. Some of you might already know what this is. You might have had it already before. Right now, I'm just making, cutting up some bacon. It's gonna be like a garnish that we use. So, we got some chicken breasts. Bam, over there. Boneless chicken breasts. Now you can do these frozen you know, in the Instant Pot or you can, you know, cook them fresh. I go. I went fresh today, but lots of times you get that packet of uh, get that packet of uh, frozen chicken breast from Walmart. And you can make a big batch of this stuff, man, and be the star of the show. And yeah, you said it's keto friendly, huh? It is keto friendly if you are low carb in it. So it's made of chicken. Got some bacon for garnish, scallion. Cream cheese. Mm, okay. That's pretty much it. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take the bacon, we're gonna put it in the instant pot, and uh, it has a saute function. So it's gonna cook the bacon. This is the gadget pot. man for y'all that don't know. <laughs> he loves gadgets. He got something for everything. All right. Where is that? Instant pot. Saute right there. Here we go. Now we're gonna wash our chicken. Um, always, always, always wash your meat. Don't know who been touching, putting packages in, digging up their nose in their, their warehouses and stuff. So we're going to clean our meat. What do we use to clean our meat, G? White vinegar, baby, white and vinegar. lemon. You can use white vinegar, lemon, lime. Lemon and lime, or just vinegar by itself, you know? Come on, chicken, y'all. Well, we're gonna do it like this today. And of course, you can make as much of this as you want, but we're cooking other things today. And we wash our meat at least three times, man. <laughs> Same thing with your vegetables, you know? If you use vinegar when you um, clean your vegetables, if there are any bugs, it kills them. I wash in my hands. So you always want to wash your hands after you handle raw meat. And I just added to the side of the bleach right there, dude. Added some bleach to my dish water. So I can clean my sink as well. Clean cook, y'all. Yes, sir. Now, most people will not do this or do not do this. You put bleach and soap and wash your sink after you wash your meat. Oh, yeah. Gotta do it. Get that salmonella down. No cross contamination. Season them boys up. Onion powder, garlic powder, a little bit of seasoning salt, not much. Don't really use a lot of salt. Crack black pepper. This is gonna go in the instant pot after we get the bacon out of there. And guess what? We're gonna deglaze the pot with a little bit of broth. That goodness down there, that's flavor that's gonna get in that chicken really good. Man. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. We got another set of tongs over here. See, those are the chicken ones down there. Get a new pair here. <laughs> I know y'all be trying to say somebody nasty, so. Get that over there. <laughs> Not here, man. All right. Get the bacon in here. 
But look how pretty that bacon is. Look at that. All right, so see that in there? Yeah. All right, so we're going to deglaze that. Put it back on saute. And use a little bit reduced broth. All right, so we got the liquid in. So you know, you don't need to add but a little bit of liquid. And we're going to drop our breast in here. I'm going to go 15 minutes to 20 minutes. You can always add time, but you can't take it away. 15 minutes. Let it do what it do. We're going to wash these dishes right here. But before we go, how about another peek at the goat? Let's do it. Hold up. How our gravy is. Let's see. You checked it earlier. You did a little taste test. Yeah, there. Before we go in, all right. But just to recap, the chicken, the chicken's done, and all the dishes have been washed. Hands up, also been washed. So just to give you guys a peek at what we got done already, all right? So we got some vegetable for you. That is the cabbage, corned beef, cabbage, Jamaican style, and we got some curry chicken. Did earlier. Yes, sir. Sitting in the crock pot. Ready to go. Ready to go. Yeah, that stir. Chicken falling off the bone, boy. Yeah, it's coming apart. Mm -hmm. That's what you want. Though. Potatoes are nice and soft. Mm -hmm. Good eating, right there, yo. Mm -hmm. Pop the veggies in there. Things are moving right along. Yes, we do. Listen, for y'all that don't understand, you know, we got a we got a smorgasbord going on over here. We got everything, a little taste of everything. It's gonna be good too. So <laughs> we creating over here. We yeah. being great. Be great. We creating. Create. You know yeah, what I'm saying? <laughs> Tell y'all what, yo, he ain't getting the cook on today. It's like full-fledged restaurant style over here today. We got a little bit of everything popping on, yo, for real. You know what I'm trying to tell you? Everything. We got whatever you want, whatever you like. Whatever you like. <laughs> All right, ladies and gents, we are back. It is time to take out the chicken, shred it up. Add it back to the Instant Pot. We've already released the pressure. The Instant Pot's already gone on. We released the pressure from it. So now we can open the top. And take a look at our breath. Ooh wee. That looks good. Let me take it out. And we need to check them and make sure they're done on the inside. The chicken Gemma. done. The chicken done. She's a done deal. And for people that don't know, the easiest way to check to see if chicken's done is you take a fork 
and you just slide it in sideways and just spin it. And if the chicken flakes, then it's done. Let's do that then. Let's show them what we're talking about. What you talking about? <laughs> Teach me something. <laughs> All right, so let's grab a fork. So take the face of the, of the chicken and you see if you just take it and just do that and see how it flakes apart, it's done. That chicken's done. All right. It's an easy way to tell if your chicken's done. If you fry in chicken, baked chicken, anything like that, if it flakes off, it's good. Another gadget gadget from, uh, from my boy Gary. He, he, I call him the gadget man. <laughs> Looking like Wolverine, yo. <laughs> That's a shred. We can shred up our chicken with that. This man loves gadgets, y'all. So even while the chicken's still hot, we can just shred it up. And we're gonna add ranch seasoning to this. It's called crack chicken, y'all. Crack chicken. Cause it's that crack, that blue magic. And y'all, y'all don't have to have the have to have the the Wolverine spikes coming out your hand. You can just use two you can, forks. You can wait till it cool down. You can use two forks. You can forks. use your hands. But I got these things, so I might as well. It's the gadget man. Might yo. be the first time I use them. <laughs> All right. We're just gonna add that back in. Juicy, juicy. Now. This is ranch seasoning. I changed it because I use a lot of garlic. Well, I use it so I like to be able to shake it out. Pressure cook. So we can melt our cheese. Ranch seasoning, cream cheese. Don't forget, that's gonna go for maybe 15 minutes. And after, 15 minutes, we're gonna add the bacon. And we're gonna add the scallions. scallions. Now, I love vegetables. Me and Gil love vegetables. Love them. You can play with this. You can do other stuff. You can put more veggies in there. Thought about slapping some nice mushrooms in there. Mm -hmm. mm, that would be good. Mm -hmm. But remember, uh, with the cracked chicken, you can make buffalo chicken. Uh, the cream cheese is gonna help, you know, thicken things up, make it nice and creamy. Um, if you wanna add sour cream to make it more creamy, you can do that. I do a lot of that in the time I wanna thicken something up. So, uh, but it's always good, very flavorful. But today, we're just gonna do it like the recipe called for. All right, and after that, Gil gets to taste some more. <laughs> Yes, yeah, sir. I get the taste of warm. See, oh, I'm not recording you. I'm recording me. I get the taste. Hold on. What was you saying? And remember, ladies and gentlemen, shout out to Click Brain for coming here and doing this vlog with us today. And this with my family today. Be great. Go create. Yes, sir. Click game. I, I. Yeah, you know, I had to, you know, I had to get a something in it because you know I love to cook so I had to get a little stir in the pot a little something 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 <laughs> I'm gonna look at the goat baby Ooh and the goat is about done y'all that thing looking righteous right there I just don't know about that goat man y'all just don't know y'all for real that's gonna be some good eating man crack chicken Ooh. A little bit of that moisture out, yo. It's gonna be perfect. Mm -hmm. Melting your mouth. Can never have enough cheese, yo. Man, that actually looks pretty good, man. I've never had cracked chicken before. But well, today, you're gonna get some. I'm gonna for a little taste. <laughs>
I'm the taste test dummy. <laughs> Instead of the craft test dummy. <laughs> Looks pretty dope. So is that is is this considered more of a dip, or is what is this? Is it? I mean, is it? It's a, like a quick meal. You could use it as a snack on um, okay. keto. And how do you eat it? Just eat it uh, with with just, um, crackers, or what do well, you mean? What do you? When, when you're, with, when not you're, with keto. Yeah, but. when you're doing keto, you know, you just eat it like it is. Okay. Because you you don't want any carbs. But I mean, that looks like a, uh, you know, like a party dish right there. Mm -hmm. You could have it as part of a meal. Mm -hmm. You could serve this along with some veggies. Mm -hmm. Crack chicken, y'all. There you go, crack chicken. Crack chicken. Yes, sir. So we got your proteins, we got your fats. Good, y'all. For real. Mm. Dang. Now, if you're not on keto, this is perfect with some nachos. Or... Them chips over there. Mm. That's banging. <laughs> you get hits of that scallion, hits of that ranch, creamy with that cheese. And then that bacon just smack it after, you know what I'm saying? After. Mm. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yo, so we're finally done with all the dishes. I just wanted to give y'all, you know, quick little presentation of what my man did. He worked, he worked well, worked hard today. But uh, yo, he put his foot in that thing and you know, we just wanted to show you what he did, because we got to grow up, baby. what we have here let's go what we have here there are two chicken dishes this is a keto friendly cracked chicken all right then we have curry chicken we have curry goat rice and peas and corned beef cabbage jamaican style yes sir Again, man, I want to thank my brother Gino. He made it a great day. It's off the chain. My man put his foot in it because I've tasted everything and I am like dumb full right now. But uh, you better bust believe him. Take me some of this gold you with me. Doggy bag. Boy, you with your little <laughs> doggy bag, man. So, yo, as always, one thing I got to say to y'all, you know what it is. From my brother to y'all and from me to y'all, you know what it is, brother. Click photos, baby. Be great. Go create. <laughs>